Mother Teresa's Shishu Bhavan. Let us know how Mother Teresa took care of and loved abandoned children. The nursery is filled with rows of cots and its painted walls are covered with bright pictures. The room is well ventilated and clean. The sisters serving at the nursery are busy cuddling, feeding and playing with the babies. A large variety of toys are scattered all over the room and laughter of children of all ages can be heard all the time. The children are all clean, well-dressed, well-fed and healthy. These children have been left abandoned by some poor parents. Some are orphaned. Mother Teresa called these abandoned children Jesus in distressing disguise. She equated giving love and care to these unfortunate children with serving infant Jesus. Many such shelter homes have been set up all over India by the missionaries of charity. They have been named as Shishubhavans, children's homes. These Shishubhavans are a symbol of hope. The sisters believe in working for the service of the poorest of the poor. While they go out for their daily service, they often find babies abandoned in garbage dumps and street corners. These babies are abandoned by those parents who are unable to take care of them because they are very poor. Often, these children are weak, sick and very close to death at the time they are found. The sisters take them to Shishu Bhavans. There, they are given baths, fed and also given medicines. At the special children's ward at Nirmala Shishu Bhavan, Kolkata, the sisters and volunteers work tirelessly for years together to bring about helpful changes in children suffering from disorders such as autism, cerebral palsy and epilepsy. As we sat in a room full of toys during the evening play hour, one of the sisters who was in charge of the ward cheerfully pointed to a 10-year-old mentally challenged girl who was showing some signs of response after years of effort. The girl would sit looking blankly at walls even when an autistic child came and hugged her. All the beds in the adjoining ward for malnourished children are occupied. The sister in charge who was of German origin and joined the order in 1998 said that malnourished children are brought in from the city's footpaths, railway stations and surrounding villages. Some poor mothers leave their babies on the doorsteps of Shishu Bhavan. They know that Mother Teresa would never refuse them. For her, each child is precious as he or she has been created by God. I will never refuse a child. Never, she always said. On some days, Shishu Bhavan gets as many as 60 unwanted children, all of whom are accepted with open arms. Rarely does a week pass when a child is not left at the doors of Shishu Bhavan. The sister at the ward said, Some children come diseased and carrying maggots. We often discharge them back to their families after treatment. A pavement-dwelling mother would come daily to take back her girl child and wouldn't return without at least touching her. Shishu Bhavans have been now set up all over the world. They have become happy homes 
for several unfortunate children. Children are not only provided nutritious food but also clothes. Many generous people donate clothes for them. The Bhavans send these children to nearby schools where they get education. Above all, the sisters serving at the mission provide them motherly love. Many Indian and foreign couples who have no children of their own often offer to adopt these children. Mother Teresa's efforts were recognized not only at the national but at the international level also. On 16 October 1979, she received a message from Oslo that she had received the Nobel Peace Prize. After she got that esteemed prize, she said, I am not worthy of this award, but I thank the Almighty for His gift to the poor. In the year 1980, Mother Teresa was awarded the Bharat Ratna by the Indian government, which is considered to be the highest award. In 1962, she had already received the Padma Shri. Mother Teresa, being a very noble and a humble person, did not like all this attention, but she said, I accept all these awards as recognition of the poor. <laughs>